Hello, and welcome to another special week-long edition of My Arundel Biz Podcast. I'm Grace Norfe. And I'm Allison Akers. We're your hosts from Anne Arundel Economic Development. As you've seen, we have gone live this week for a special series um, on Maryland Economic Development Week. To make Anne Arundel County the best place, it takes a village. And a villi our village is made up of resources and partners such as Candice over here with the Maryland Small Business Development Center um, in order to make Anne Arundel County the best place. So Candice, tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Candice Pruitt. I'm the Maryland SBDC Business Consultant at Anne Arundel County. I work with businesses uh, who are looking to start and grow their business. Uh, and I want to do a shout out to my colleague who's not here today. Her, uh, her name is Lakia Bourne and she works in the county with me as well. Yep, Lakia is just as just as good as Candace over yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. we they are actually housed in the Anne Arundel Economic Development offices. So yeah. she's right down right down the hallway from us. Yep. Now Candace, look, I feel lucky. I'm a little starstruck because like you're a you're a local celebrity, okay? You really are. So like every podcast that we've had it's always been a mention of Candace and the help that Candace has gotten and, and, that uh, Candace has given. And I just want to say, like, what's what's your secret? Like, how do you how do you do it? Like, how how do you help these entrepreneurs uh, um, kind of get out of their own way and, and get to start their businesses? So each entrepreneur, they know a lot about their industry, their business, and it's all about asking the right questions to. Um, pull out the information that they're looking for. So a lot of businesses come when they want to start a business and they're having trouble either navigating, how do I register? What's, what's the licensing permitting process? Uh, how do I hire my first employee? And then the clients who are looking to grow, they're looking to more look at their strategic growth plan, marketing efforts, um, what are my next stages? Uh, I need funding for my business. Mm -hmm. So it's really asking the right questions and talking to the entrepreneurs about their needs because each one's different in their own experience. So you're basically like a jack of all trades. I have to be, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> giving advice on all aspects of the business process. I always tell the business owner that they are the expert in their field mm -hmm. while I'm looking at from it from the business operation sure. standpoint. Sure. That makes sense. How many entrepreneurs have you helped this year? I have worked with 148 entrepreneurs this year. Wow. And that's only, that's fiscal year? This fiscal year, yes. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. A busy woman. I know. <laughs> yeah. She's always a very hard worker, very yeah. busy. Yeah. It's hard to get in her schedule, I hear. <laughs> well, I do have a lot of repeat clients, so even though I'm seeing 148, um, sometimes they're meeting with me on a monthly, quarterly, or biannual basis. So why don't you talk about um, what does a... What, what does an appointment, uh, an appointment look like? What, what assistance do you give? Um, how long does it take? What can they expect once they sit down with you? So the first meeting, we really talk about their business, um, how they got started, uh, their journey, their entrepreneurial journey, whether they have started in the business planning process, um, they have uh, cash flow projections, or they're looking to grow. So it's all about that business, and the first meeting is more of an introduction meeting, mm -hmm. and what are their goals? what kind of assistance they're seeking. Um, some of the most common conversations I have uh, is how to start a business, um, building their bail team that consists of their banker, their accountant, their insurance oh, agent, yeah. all important. their lawyer. All important partners. Yeah. Yes, and uh, looking at it from a strategic growth planning perspective. So what are their marketing goals? Um, what kind of assistance are they looking for in terms of hiring employees and what are their pain points? So we talk about that and we create a course of action and they leave with an action plan that goes over my responsibilities after the meeting and their client responsibilities after the meeting. Typically, how long do you meet with them and then how many sessions do you end up meeting with a usual business owner? So the average meeting is about an hour. Once that, you know, we're both losing. Uh, <laughs> Concentration there, all mm -hmm. meetings, hour or less, typically. Um, however, it varies on the frequency of mm -hmm. the meeting, d depending on the business owner. So some, especially in the beginning stages, we're probably meeting more on a monthly basis. And then it slowly moves to 
quarterly, biannually, um, and sometimes I am just checking in with my clients on an annual basis once they're uh, sustaining just to kind of check in on how are they doing on their annual goals. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, look, we don't play favorites, okay? All right. But can you give us uh, one of the most outstanding stories that you've that you've had meeting with clients? You know I can't <laughs> play favorites, Grayson. They're all my favorites. Um, <laughs> and you've worked with so many. Yes. So many really good stories that we've even we've heard of. So although I can't play favorites, all right, all right. some of the businesses that uh, I've really enjoyed working with, um, so I've worked with several coffee shops, hair salons, restaurants, and a lot of service-based industries, so a couple cyber companies. Mm -hmm. But my favorite thing about my job is really seeing them succeed, whether it's going to their ribbon cutting when they're opening up a new location, whether it's they're hiring more employees, uh -huh. they just uh, won a big contract. So I really like to hear about their success along the way. So it's almost like birthing a child and watching that child grow <laughs> up. And then you yeah, just send them a, off into the point. world and it's like, oh, they're graduating now. They're, yes, and then at some point They're you functioning are... adults. <laughs> <laughs> some points I'm the nagging parent. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. I get it. I get it. I get it. Totally understand. So how does the Maryland Small Business Development Center work in collaboration with Anne Arundel Econ Economic Development? What resources do you um, have that complement the resources that we can give and how do we work together? So I work very closely with the business development team. So I'm constantly, uh, they're sending me uh, businesses, I'm sending them businesses um, and they assist uh, the businesses I work with on site search selections, um, they have workforce training grants, they have the tech toolbox mm -hmm. um, that some of my clients have used for like the IP yep. attorney assistance, yep. and most importantly uh, is the funding. So a lot of my clients take advantage of the Volt program, the Next Stage loan, and the ACR revitalization loan. So I work with them on the loan packaging. So it's that. really a good conversation, good partnership between the two. Yes, it's definitely more of a collaboration um, and we're working together to get that business to the next level. Yeah, and I think having us all in close proximity helps helps yeah. move the conversations along. Yeah. So that really does help. Maybe if people don't understand how how is Maryland Small Business Development Center um, set up around around Maryland? Sure. So we have um, offices across Maryland, um, including the Eastern Shore, uh, through some of the more populated counties like Anne Arundel County, Howard County, Montgomery, Prince George's. We have at least one consultant in those locations, and then we have consultants in Western um, and Southern Maryland. So we assist businesses on a national level, um, but we're set up via state level. Well, we, we love Candace the most, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go Anne Arundel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of Anne Arundel County, what's your favorite thing about Anne Arundel County? Well, I may be a little bit biased because I do live and work here. Which is exactly what we want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but it would probably be just the vast number of resources for entrepreneurs who are looking to start and grow. Um, you have uh, the economic development, mm -hmm. you have SBDC, you have SCORE, you have the local community colleges, the libraries. Um, it's just a vast number of resources that they can really tap into um, to help get them to the next level. Yeah, and I think you guys have heard a lot of that if you've been checking out um, any of our live podcasts this week. Um, a lot of our partners are featured, so that's a great great segue into yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Candice. Um, I think you really are a vital resource for helping our Arundel Biz grow and be successful. Thank you so much for having me. So, Candice. How do people make an appointment if they're interested in starting their business and in getting off the ground? So if they're interested, they can go to MarylandSBDC.org to register um, to become a SBDC client, or they can always go to your website and uh, submit an information request uh, on how to start a business. Yep, so right. that's ArundelBiz.org. And you can find this podcast as well as all of our others on ArundelBiz.org, as well as on all of our social media accounts. So that's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. Um, this week is a special episode because we are highlighting our resources and partners as part of Maryland Economic Development Week because it truly does take a village to make Anne Arundel Absolutely. County the best place. Absolutely. Thanks, Candace. Thank, Thank you, you again, Candace.